now because he told me 9.45 and it's past my bedtime. I'm, I usually go to bed at 9 o'clock, but, you know, how are everybody doing out here? Good, good. Uh, I won't be long. Uh, in 96, I was in a terrible car accident on Highway 37 by Marine World. I was thrown from the back seat of a old beat up, broke down Honda Accord. Uh, the car landed on top of me. I'm laying there looking up. It's, it's nighttime, it's dark. I don't, I don't see anything, but I feel this heavy weight pressing against my chest. And I, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even know that I was thrown from the car. The car started swerving. I just closed my eyes. I pushed up thinking that you know, it wasn't too heavy because I didn't know what it was. I burnt my arm underneath the car because it was hot from, I don't know, I guess, the engine or whatever. But um, the only thing I remember was these lights just flashing. I was on the side of the road on the freeway. I remember seeing my mom, and one of the descriptions was it looked like somebody took a can of red paint and threw it against my face. She couldn't really see my eyes. My whole face was just bloody. I remember her crying, and the only thing that I could remember saying was, Mom, I'll be okay. Don't cry. I told her that I was hurt really bad, but, you know, I, I didn't feel like I was going to die or anything. Doctors told me that I wouldn't walk again. That, that's what they just told me. But I believe that Jesus is more than able to deliver me and get me out of this situation that I'm in. Every day, I mean for seven years, I speak life over my legs, over my spinal cord, every day. I don't let one day go by without speaking to this situation. And I'm gonna keep on speaking to this situation till I get up out of this chair and do my victory lap around this church. Cause I believe, I believe. I'm a believer, and I'm not ashamed to sit up here and tell you that by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. And when I, and when I walk back in Kaiser and prove all those doctors wrong who told me all this negative, negative feedback and, and whatever they were saying to me, then they will know that God is real, that there is a God, and that and God is more than able to still perform miracles in 2005. I just want to let you know that everything that's going on right now, this 14 days of glory, I mean, I hope you guys have been blessed by it because I've totally been blessed by it. I mean, there's been tremendous things happening and to see the youth come out and the praise God how they're doing, I mean, that's just exciting. When I was that age, I mean, I wish I would have known about church and, and what's going on. I wish I could have got in on this at an earlier age maybe before this accident even happened. But I know that there is a plan and a purpose for my life. I know that I'm not in this situation for no reason. You know, amen. And I believe, I, I'm, I mean, I sit up here and you, you just don't know. You don't know the hard work and the pain that I go through on a daily basis, every day. Whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, the devil's always trying to break me down and, and get me down and have me focus on the situation. But I remember one Sunday, I sit back there in that corner every Sunday, and I praise God. I lift my hands. I'm not ashamed to, to lift my hands and give God praise. And I remember Pastor Nutt. Pastor Nutt is always saying, we may have troubles, but our troubles don't have us. We may have problems, but our problems don't have us. And that's, and that's, that's what I speak every day. I say, you know what, devil? You're trying to throw this at me. You're trying to throw all this stuff in my face. You're trying to have me focus on this situation. But I'm not going to be moved. I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm not going to give you no type of entrance to just come in and try to destroy me. Because the devil, the devil tried to kill me so many times. Not only with the accident, even after the accident. He tried to take me out. But by the grace of God, I'm here to, to, to sit here and minister to you guys. And for the youth, I mean, if, if you guys need anything to discuss or talk about with somebody, you can always come to me and, and talk to me. Whatever, you may be going through things, you may be going through situations, you can come to me. We are all family. 
I could be a brother to you. I can mentor you. I can let you know things. And I just want to say God bless you. And I know Kevin said I have five minutes. And I mean, I'm just, just excited about what God, what God is doing for this church, for my home. This is my home. I've been here for seven years. I've been here for seven years. And I just want to say God bless you. And, and I just want to just, just say thank you for having me again. And remember, our best is yet to come.